Hello my friends, it's Bruns here and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be going through the skill tree of each single victim and I'm going to show you the pathway where you can get the maximum number of attribute points for each victim. That will obviously lock you into having a certain number of perks. So it's a decision you're going to have to make if you want to go this way, if you're going to go that way, because depending which way you go, you can have as little as 23 attribute points and some characters you can have a maximum of 34 attribute points. So that's an extra 11 points you can dump into your loadout which is massive i will also be telling you which random perks you can get for each victim so let's look at connie's tree here the maximum number of attribute points you can get with connie is 31 and in order to get those 31 points you gotta go right on the very first choice you need to make and then on the second time you need to make a choice you need to go right again and only here at the very top you need to make another choice and here it doesn't matter which way you go you're gonna get exactly the same number of attribute points so i would recommend you to go left here because if you go right you're gonna get rescue medic you're gonna get a random perk and you're also gonna get been working out which is gonna increase your strength if you go left you're gonna get safety in numbers which is just about okay but you do get ran track which will boost your endurance and then you get what i think is one of the best perks in the game which is extra drip after using a health item you will continue to receive six hp for 12 seconds so if you use one small bottle of heal here and you're really low on health you will basically full heal but this is just your choice obviously you choose what you want and in terms of random perks connie can have a maximum of 10 random perks those are bad blood which on level 3 upon your death your killer's damage output is reduced by 50 percent for 120 seconds and they will be highlighted on the map for 120 seconds it won't save you but it could help other victims you get cover recovery which on level 3, stamina recovery increased by 60% while using hiding spots or shadows. You get Jack in the Box, which on level 3, when leaving a hiding spot, you take 35% less damage for 11 seconds. You get Jump Start, where on level 3, your stamina consumption on dashing is reduced by 50%. You get Last Ditch Effort, which on level 3, dropping below 30% of max health will automatically equip a bone scrap. This only occurs if you have an empty inventory slot, and it's got 5 uses. You get Medical Benefits. On level 3, healing a fellow victim also heals yourself. The amount of health received will be 80% of total healing applied to your teammate. You get Rally Leader. On level 3, help all victims recover from being incapacitated more quickly. Recovery is 35% faster. You get Slippery, which on level 3, after navigating gaps or crawl spaces, you move 15% faster for 7 seconds. You get the Broken Taekwon Door, which on level 3, slamming doors on family members will stun the target for 16 seconds. Don't use that one. Just talk. Toxic. <laughs> and you get well trained, which on level 3, after jumping down a well, all bone scrap and unlock tools within 25 meters are highlighted for 30 seconds. So now you know what you can get with Connie on her random perks, so you can keep respecting your tree until you get what you want. You can't get any other perks on the random ones. So that's gonna grant you your 31 attribute points on Connie, so you can distribute this as you see fit. 31 is a lot, and this is the build I'm going for at the moment, and I need to level up some of these, but I love of radar detector which will show the family members when grandpa's sonar ability is activated it's a bit broken it doesn't proc every time but when it does it's brilliant i really like jump start because it will reduce stamina consumption on dashing and i love slippery that's one of the only perks you can really escape sissy and hitchhiker when they're chasing you down the basement but right, let's move on to leland with leland this is basically what you need to do on his skill tree to get the maximum number of attribute points you need to go right as soon as you start on the tree and then you need to go right again and once you get to the next one you need to go left and then you get all this and then once you get to the very top here you can go either way and then you're gonna get the same amount of attribute points no matter which way you go so at the very end here what's important to know is that if you go left you're gonna get what doesn't kill you which is one of the best perks in the game again on level three after being injured by a melee attack avoiding additional damage for 15 seconds will reward you with a hundred percent of the health you just lost very good but if you go the other way you get agitator which incapacitating grandpa has a greater negative effect on the family it will reduce the bond of the family by four levels so grandpa is going to go back down to level one if he's on level five that's massive also if you go left here you won't get any other perks but if you go right here you're also going to get efficient grappler which will give you a chance to keep your bone scrap after using it on a close encounter now in terms of random perks on leland you can also get about 10 and those are bomb squads you're able to dismantle traps without the use of a bone scrap and that can be up to eight 80% faster 
faster on level 3. You get bounce back better, where healing items used on you are 40% more effective, it counts for being healed and healing yourself. You get choose flight, one of the best perks in the game, where once depleted your stamina bar will instantly refill and it has 3 charges on level 3. Condition, when you completely run out of stamina it takes 60% less time to stop regenerating, really like this one as well. You got cover recovery like on Connie, you got dead boat where doors you latch are 30% harder to barge through, I don't really like this one. Efficient backstabber, sneak attacks have a chance not to consume a bone scrap, chance is 40%. You get light on your feet, grandpa is 100% less alerted by the noises you make during the start of the game, nobody cares about this one at the moment. You get saboteur, after using generator or fuse box the interaction cooldown for family members is 30 seconds longer. So I don't find much use on saboteur, because what you want to do when you get to the exit anyway, you want to lockpick the lock first, and then only after you want to use the generator. So once you do the generator, you escape, nobody cares if they're going to switch you back on or not, unless of course you have teammates still on the map. So this could be very situational, not too keen on this one. And you get stun double, where you're going to receive less damage when jumping out of windows or climbing down wells and get back on your feet faster after doing so, the damage received is 70% less on level 3. This is a very good perk to use when in the family house and you're going to be jumping windows, but you could also find its use when you're on the other maps and you're going to be doing hit and run tactics with grandpa perhaps and going back to the wells very quickly. So with Leland going this path on the tree, you're going to get 34 attribute points. That's one of the highest amount of attribute points you can get in a character actually. And this is what I'm going for with Leland at the moment. He's one of the characters that I play the least, but I am going for agitator, choose flight and ran track. And then obviously I'm putting some points on stealth because his stealth is not very good. A little bit more on proficiency and a little bit more on toughness just so just because he can be a little bit squeegee as well. Right, next character is Anna. And on Anna's case, in order for you to maximize the number of attribute points you can get on her tree, you need to go right at the very start and then you need to go right again and then you need to go right one more time finally to go left and then it doesn't matter if you go left and right at the end if you go left at the end you get a random perk but if you go right you get what doesn't kill you one of the best perks in the game so unless you don't have the random perk you want i would definitely go right here at the end because that means you can put what doesn't kill you together with no cell and that means you can really tank those first three attacks and you're always going to recover the damage dealt to you as well might be a little bit of a waste to have those two perks together because one of them is going to run out but it can really save you from some tricky situations. Now Anna can get eight random perks only. So some of the perks she can get, I've already spoke about. So if I've already spoken about the perk, I'm not gonna talk about it again, but she can get bomb squad. She can get bounce back better. She can get choose fight, where sneak attacks and close encounters stun family members for five seconds longer. She can get efficient backstabber, where sneak attacks have a chance to not consume a bone scrap. She can get fight back, where after surviving a close encounter, the family member you fall has stamina regeneration reduced by a magnitude of 50% for 30 seconds. She can get lucky lock picker, where the very first time you use an unlock tool to open a door, it has a 50% chance to not be consumed. This can be good, but also one of those perks where you use it once in the game and then it's deactivated and you won't use it again. Almost find a bit of a waste to have this one on. She gets must have been the wind, where all noise generated when interacting with crawl spaces or while gathering items will be completely disregarded and it has five charges. This can be good in the early game, but at the moment nobody cares about making noise, so not too sure about this one yet. And she gets Raider Detector, which again I think is one of the best perks in the game, although it's broken. So if you do this path on the skill tree of Anna, she will get a maximum of 33 attribute points. That is very good. The perks I'm going for on her are Jumpstart, I am going for Stealth because I want to make her stealthier, and I'm also going for What Doesn't Kill You. You can see here I'm putting more points of proficiency and I've got more points on stealth as well. And with that perk, that's only going to get better. And I've got just a little smidge of points into endurance, just so her stamina lasts a little bit longer. All right, Sonny, one of my favorite characters in the game. 
So you can get a decent amount of attribute points as well in a tree and in order to maximize the number of points he can get what you need to do is go left at the start once you hit the next crossroads then it doesn't really matter if you want to go left or if you want to go right if you go right you get agitated which i think is a must if you go left you get safety in numbers we're on level three while all victims are alive and before any have escape you receive 15 percent bonus to your max health and stamina you will lose this perk as soon as someone dies so i'm not too sure about you having this perk next time you have to make a choice you definitely want to go left so you can get an extra two attribute points there and with that you're also going to gain endurance and you're going to lose a random perk because you didn't go the other way and that's fine and then at the very end of sonny's tree here you can decide if you want to go right left or to the top and it doesn't really matter which way you go in terms of attribute points you're going to get the same amount however on sonny i definitely think you want to roll some really good random perks here because he can get some of the best random perks in the game and those are choose flight, cover recovery, efficient backstabber, efficient grappler, where you have a 25% chance to keep your bone scrapped after using it in a close encounter on level 3. You got efficient locksmith. When you unlock indoors, there is a 40% chance not to consume the lockpick on level 3. You get fish hooks where sneak attacks decrease the family's max stamina for a limited amount of time. Max stamina is reduced by 75% for 30 seconds. This can be good but you gotta go for those sneak attacks. You also get overlooked where grand persona ability whilst is active you will remain undetected even if you are spotted. It has four charges on level 3. However G has told me that this is broken and once this procs it will completely deplete it. I haven't tested it. I'm not too sure about it. Maybe some Someone can let me know down the comments but if that's the case i wouldn't use this for now otherwise this can be a really good perk to use when you are exiting the basement and you just want to keep going and finally he can get sanguine shadow where if you drop below 60% health, it can be refilled slowly by staying hidden and motionless in shadows or hiding spots. Health received is 2 HP per second up to a maximum of 60% of your total HP. This can be a good perk, I haven't used it much, and it can be quite situational as well. So the max number of attribute points Sony can get in his tree are 31 points. And then you can really decide what you want to go for here. This is not my current build with him, but I do want to test this, like not having any perks per se, but just boost my attribute points as much as I can. I want to see how that works out. And then you can just decide where you want to split your points as well, because you know he has very low stealth and he also is very squeegee. He's only got 15 points on toughness. So you can maybe beef him up a little bit or put some more points on stealth so that he can be a little bit more useful in game. Although we know that Sonny's best ability is his wall hacks. And finally, but not least, we've got Julie. So on Julie's skill tree, the way you want to get the maximum number of attribute points, you first want to go right, and then it doesn't matter which way you go. If you go right, you're gonna get fight back, which after surviving a close encounter, the family member you fought is gonna have stamina regeneration reduced by a magnitude of 50% for 30 seconds. If you go left, you're gonna get dead bolt, where doors you latch are 30% harder to barge through. Wouldn't go for that really. I would definitely go for fight back, even though I don't use this much. Then the next time you need to make a choice, you need to go left, because that's gonna allow you to get slippery, which I think is a very good perk. And then the next time you need to make a choice it doesn't matter if you go right or left you are going to get a random perk at the very end of both of these choices so all you need to decide is if you want to take with you choose fights or if you want to take overlooked and like i said overlooked at the moment is possibly broken so i am not going for that at the moment the random perks that julie can get are agitator dead weight which you, if you are the last victim alive the family's proximity radius is 60 percent smaller than it usually is don't use this much you can get efficient grappler you got empowered where after survive a close encounter you regain 50 health points and 90 percent of max stamina i have used this a lot and this can be really effective you just have to have points on strength so that you can ensure you win those close encounters you also get fuse lights which is when the fuse box is turned on or off all family members and the fuse box are highlighted for 30 seconds this can be useful i guess if you are going for this exit i guess this can help you to see if the family is going to block the exit and if they're close to 
the exit than you are. But most of the time, you kind of know where the family is when you do the basement exit. So this might not be that useful. You also get Lone Survivor, where the last victim alive will receive 20% added to max health and stamina. It will also increase the amount of time the family members will be highlighted by 30 seconds once you become the last victim alive. This can be a good perk. Um, don't rate it massively. But if you like to be the last standing victim in the game and you like to keep bullying the family, this could be good, I guess. You can get no cell by getting hit by a family member, resulting 80% less damage. And he has three charges on level three. This is very good. You get Raider Detector, again, one of my favorite perks. You get Stun Double, which is very good again, especially if you are in the family house. And you get Well Trained. So Julie is another one of the few characters that can get a max of 34 attribute points on her skill tree. So if you go that way I told you, that's how many attribute points you're gonna get. And then you can really decide again where you wanna dump those points. This is the current build I'm going for Julie. I'm putting Slippery on, Agitator, and Efficient Locksmith because you want to keep unlocking those locks without losing your lockpick if possible. So we want to put loads of points of proficiency and boost her stealth a little bit and then also improve her endurance. Guys, that's about it for this video. I hope this was useful somehow. There's lots of other paths you can take on the tree, of course, but all the other paths will lead to less attribute points. It just depends on which perks you want to have, but I think having more attribute points, it can make a really strong build on your character. And also the perks that you get, as you can see, with these max attribute points pathways, you can get quite a few good random perks with each character. You just have to potentially respect your tree a few times until you get the random perks that you want. I will be doing a video on the family as well on this, so watch out for that. And a massive thank you to Praise G Buzz for all the support you've given me and for being a member of the channel. I really do appreciate it, mate. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new, please drop me a like, consider subscribing, and consider joining the channel for more perks such as getting shout outs, priority reply on your comments, and also getting badges next to your names. Thank you so much for watching this. I've really do appreciate it. I will see you all next time.